Disclaimer, I don't hate this car at all. I absolutely love it. I just thought I'd make an alternative video to the five things that I love about my Z4 video. No car is perfect, and these are just some of the points that I was able to find about this particular car. So before you all say, oh, you should have bought a diesel, then just know that I fully understand that it's a big engine car. It should use a lot of fuel, so I'm not really surprised. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another video. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing. The other day we hit 400 subscribers, which really means a lot. If you haven't already, mate, do make sure you actually uh, hit that subscribe button for plenty of upcoming videos. However, in this video, you join me for five things that I hate about this car. The first thing that I dislike about this car is, no surprise, the fuel economy. Obviously, being a big engine, uh, you expect it to be pretty crap on fuel, but yeah, this is this is pretty bad, if I'm honest. Uh, driving around normally around towns and country lanes, things like that, I tend to get around 18 to 20 mpg, I believe. On the motorway, it's generally around 35, which isn't too bad for a car with an engine uh, and as much power as this. I'll give you guys some real world figures now. Uh, if I stick a 10 pounds worth of fuel in this car at empty, uh, I will get around, it depends how I'm driving, if I'm absolutely hooning the tits off it, I will get around 25 to 30 miles from that tenner. If I'm driving like Miss Daisy or like my grandma, then I will get, I will get probably 40 to 50 miles. He's just gonna leave his door wide open, isn't he? Ooh. So yeah, it very much depends on how you drive it. Uh, to a full tank, full tank is 65 quid. Uh, if Again, if I drive down to say London and pick up my mates or then drive like a knob, I will get around 230 miles to that tank. However, if I drive long distance and I'm with my girlfriend and I have to drive very sensibly or I'll get told off, then I'll get around probably 300 miles to a tank. It's not, again, it's not too bad. It's good for what it is. It just obviously depends on how you drive it. At the minute, I ain't drive it. I'm not trying to save this fuel, so. And at the end of the day, it's my weekend car. I've got a work car that I use on a daily basis, so I never really have to put fuel in this. When I do, it's just for fun, so it's a toy. <laughs> Jesus, this is fast. She fast. The second thing that I hate about this car is the fact there are no cup holders. Yep, a car like this, an expensive car like this from new was around 40 grand, I believe, and it doesn't come with cup holders. That is... <laughs> Woo. Anyway. My last Z4, the E85, did have cup holders, which I used to constantly rinse Joel about from the YouTube channel, it's Joel. Uh, the fact that he didn't have cup holders, but now I'm the one with no cup holders. I know that there's an optional, optional extra, I guess, where you can have some fitted down the side here on the center console, but they're by your knees, they're in the way, and they cost 70 pounds each for a cup holder. 
So whenever you get a drink, you just have to stick it in between your legs. If it's a coffee, when you will you will burn your balls, but that's the price you pay when you don't have a bloody cup holder. The third thing that I dislike about this car is the stereo Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, when I get in my car, if you want your phone to connect to the stereo, you will have to take it out your pocket, otherwise nine times out of 10 it won't. Uh, and then the odd time when it is connected, you know, it will crackle slightly, like there's a dodgy connection, something like that, I don't know, I don't know how it works. So that is a little annoying. However, compared to my last Z4, I am very grateful that this car has Bluetooth as standard. Last one didn't, I had to put in a media bridge, it was an absolute ball ache. So the fact this one has it, I'm quite happy about that. It just needs to be a little bit more reliable, I think. The fourth thing that I don't like about this car is, is well, as, as demonstrated, as good as the roof is, you can't really put it down when you're driving. You have to do around five mile an hour, which is really embarrassing because now it's, oh f sake. I'm trying to put the roof down and there's cars behind me and I'm doing two mile an hour and it keeps stopping and there's cars behind me. I'm really sorry, sorry, come on. Yep, yep, come on, go down, go down, there we go, sorry. Yeah, as well demonstrated, um, I tried to put the roof down whilst moving and I had one, two, three, four, five, five cars that were just held up by me. The, I was under the impression that the roof could go down whilst you were driving, however, as I've just demonstrated, you can only do five mile an hour before it will cancel. I do want to figure out how to, and then go and find a place, how to get this car recoded. Apparently you can get it recoded so that you can put the roof down up to like 20 odd mile an hour or something. Uh, once I've done that, I'll be happy with that. But as you saw, that was just absolutely embarrassing. That happened to me in London. I was at a set of traffic lights and I thought, oh, I could put the roof down. Nope. Yeah, I was, I, and I couldn't drive slow enough in London. I just had the roof, the back window on top with the boot lid wide open, just driving around like, can't do anything, can't stop, people are angry. Sorry. The final thing that I don't like about this car is that when the roof is down, there's zero boot space. Let me explain. Uh, roof down, oh, I just think I'll go and get a bag out of the boot. And uh, the roof is completely folded into the boot, meaning you've only got this incredibly small hand-sized gap to get anything out of, which, I wonder if I can get my case out, let's lock it. My case fits, however, when you've got things right at the back or anything wider than your hand, uh, it proves quite difficult. You can't get anything out. The only way to get anything out is to go back in the car, put the roof back up, and then you're all set. However, to be fair, I don't know how else they could have done that, but it's just something that annoys me. There we have it then guys, just a video showing you the five things that I dislike about this car. Like I said earlier, I do not hate this car in any way, it's just no car's perfect. So these are the five little niggles that I picked up on. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for plenty of upcoming video content with this car and soon to be plenty of other cars. Cheers. Oh, 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 o